you saw my last video, I'm trying to show you how I choose color, how to pick the right paint for your room or your home, um, and even just how to come up with your inspiration. So this one is actually coming up with your inspiration for your home, whether it be one room or whether it be your home, whole room. I wanna show you the tricks that I've learned, cause they are tricks. Um, I'm actually, I'm a nurse. I haven't nursed in, oh my gosh, 20 years. So I guess I'm more of a first aid specialist at this point in my life. But I'm not a designer, I'm not a decorator. It's just something I've always had a passion about since I had my own home. Um, actually for me it's been a challenge to have that designer cool look on a budget because I've always had to be thrifty um, back with the days when we'd go shopping at the grocery store with our calculator to see if we could afford chicken or hot dogs that week um, to now with my Etsy shops which do do well but it's not an unlimited budget. You know, now I have to just still have to watch what I spend if I want to do the things I want to do. So I thought I would take this video and just show you how to find your inspiration and maybe create a whole color scheme for your house, how to know the colors are going to go, that kind of thing. Um, so what, how, okay. So for me, I told you, I like house. I like looking at a picture, or, you know, it could even be a magazine. It could be a catalog. This is a Pottery Barn catalog. Um, I like pictures. I, I'm very visual. I like knowing that if I see it in a magazine, someone else has done the work and designed it for me, and I can just cheat and copy it. Um, so, like, for me, I'll get, the, I'll get the catalog, and I won't shop there, but you know what happens? Other people copy. And soon enough, you're gonna find that off-brand that's gonna look exactly the same, but not cost the same price. So that's what I'll do. I'll look through, um, say in this one, there was a bed that I, I liked the bed, I liked the look of the room. Um, not finding it now. I had it dog-eared for the first 12 copies of this video. Um, here it is. So I saw this. And I loved the dough bowl, which I'm kind of regretting selling all my dough bowls in the last couple of years. And I liked the headboard. That's really all I like. The pillows are fine. I don't want the buffalo check. Now I do, that's very trendy. So I did pick up a version of a buffalo check at, where did I find it? I think it was Marshall's when I was shopping with my friend a couple weeks ago. Um, but I did get a headboard similar and I like this, so I might have to look for another dough bowl. But so I would take this and I would rip out the page and you know maybe write on here what I like um, or that, and I would take it with me. I, I put it, I have a binder for every room of every house that I do. Um, this is the one for the lake. I saw that picture on Pinterest one time and copied it and put it in here. It's somebody's fun fire pit area that I liked. But anyway, so I create a section for each room in the house um, here. I knew I wanted a wood door somewhere. And so I put, this is actually a Word um, document that I, I saved the pictures, I put them in. And then here you can see this part. This was for the old house. I'm not doing that anymore because I'm kind of over a chalkboard. But I wanted it between the doors of the old house. Um, but that, I'll keep it. I'll keep the picture. You know what? I don't do everything. But it reminds me, because I'm visual, because I'm old and forgetful, it reminds me of what I want to do. Um, so we'll go. I'm going to show you. I was looking through pottery, but this one actually is Ballard Designs. I was looking for Ballard Designs when I was doing the pantry. And I liked the baskets. They were convenient when I did them in the pantry at the first lake house. And then I saw this. And oh, wouldn't you look at that. That is my pantry at the lake house. 
So see, I kind of cheat. I don't come up with the idea on my own, but I will copy the best of the best. But anyway, so look, there's the baskets, there's the gray. So all I did, all I did was figure out what gray this was and painted the pantry that way. And then the white I knew I wanted, and if you see this, they don't have white other than the things. I just, I like white dishes. For me, white dishes just go. No matter what you do to your room, no matter what way you go, white or black, anything like that is always gonna go. And you know, for me, white, white is clean, white is neat and bright. And my mother-in-law taught me that if you use white, it doesn't show dust as much as black. I should have listened to her when I did the black countertops, but whatever. Anyway, so I saved this picture. It was in my kitchen part of my binder. So I'm going along, you know, it, it, and I'll get to another way. If, if you don't see the picture you love, I'll show you an easy cheat. Um, so I'm going along, going along. And if you remember, I mentioned that we have to redo the um, master bathroom at the lake house. They have a fancy shower that is discontinued and the diverter, they don't make the part to fix it anymore. And they, it's just, it's a specific thing. It's actually a, a five point diverter. Like it has water going this way, water going this way, up, up, like seriously, five different directions. And one, the diverter, there's a groove in it that we can't replace it. And so the water is constantly getting through the system and leaking and whatnot. Anyway, whatever. So looking for fixtures for the bathroom, the master bathroom. And I happened to see this in a Moan catalog. And voila, I found my powder room at the lake. I actually have this mirror. I found a couple of them at TJ Maxx for $8. And it, maybe that's one thing. I will buy things. If I see a deal, I'm going to buy it. I'll find it somewhere. I'll use it somewhere. Um, but anyway, and I had wanted to do this. This is the same paneling that I used in the hallway of the first lake house when I did my closet wall. That's the same paneling. It comes in four by eight sheets. It looks like shiplap, but it's not. It's paneling. You just nail it up there, paint it. You're good to go. Um, so I thought, you know what? I want that. I'm also looking for this. I can't find that rug. I want a rug just like that. I found one, but it was... I think it was like $300 for a four by six rug. And I'm like, no. Anyway, so what I do, I put this in my binder and I'll write a list. I'll make a list of what I need. I need to find the rug. I need to find the fixture. I need to find the, you know, whatever. I need a rice paper for the window so that my neighbors that we can wave to from the deck, I want to put a rice paper shade up because there's no privacy in that room unless you close off all of the light and I don't want to make it that dark. Um, but anyway, so that's what I do. I find my inspiration, I put it in my binder, and then that keeps me organized for my projects. That This literally is the whole house inside and out. Um, so that's how you stay organized. But how do you find your inspiration? What if you don't find that picture? that I mentioned, a um, couple different ways. First thing I told a friend of mine, I said, look in your closet. You know what you like to wear. You know what clothes, colors make you look good. You know what style you like of clothes. Me, I'm a t-shirt and jeans girl. I, I don't like pattern. Um, I think sometimes on me, because I'm a short, I'm 5'2", I'm 5'2", I'm and like a size eight or so depending on the day, sometimes a little more. Um, but for me, pattern overwhelms me. I'm a small person, you put me in a bright print and all you see is the print and you lose me. Others love that boom, boom, in your face, colorful, eclectic. I have friends I follow on Instagram that can rock eclectic like no other. Me, I couldn't live with that. For me, I would just see clutter and dusting and yeah, just can't do that. But anyway, so that's what I tell people. I said, look in your closet, find the colors you like, find the styles you like, and then take that. Look for that when you're shopping. 
you know, if you are a jeans and t-shirt girl, you're probably like me that you like French, the French grain sack stripe. You probably like the canvas that's out right now, maybe even the farmhouse, maybe you're relaxed like that. Um, I have one friend who, her dresses, she's stunning. She's a little bit older than me, but you wouldn't know it. She's absolutely stunning. She always wears these structured dresses. She can rock a print. And she's more of a southern living type of home. And it works. Their home is amazing. And the nice thing is, is it fits them. It's not Joanna Gaines. It's not other designers. It fits them. They do what they love and it works. So that's kind of what I, what I want you to think about. Do what you love. Don't follow other people. You know, like my house is not going to look at like anybody else's because... I'm finding pictures all over the place. So, all right, awkward pause here. Um, the other thing I wanna do, so if you can't find your inspiration from a picture or your closet, cheat. Find a piece of fabric. This is actually the fabric that I used for the first lake house. I actually made some pillows with this back when I sewed. Also, if I have to, I hate to sew. Um, but it's funny because I pulled out the colors that were in here and used them in the house. Um, again, not the walls. The walls the walls were close. The walls were like, they were soji white, which was kind of an off, like a yellowish white. But paired with the white trim, they looked like they had color. Um, but cheat, you know, this is the colors that I'm doing in my mom's office. Now, am I doing this print? No. But her walls, her wall is close to this. Her wall is like close to this. Now I always pick, when you pick color, I pick a grayed version. Because if your wall was this bright, it might be too much. But that's completely up to you. I mean, that's I tend to go neutral, safe. So I found a grayed version of this blue. We are doing the blue. We have um, canvas. And this orange just pops against that blue. So this is kind of what I'm using for hers. And that was my inspiration for her office. Plus, I know my mom. I know my mom loves color. She always picks like colorful tops and stuff. She tends to be a solid girl like me. Um, but she always, she likes pinks and, and bright, fun colors. Um, this is another one you could use, you know. The designer has done the work for you. The designer put the colors together and created the pattern. Um, this is actually napkins and a tablecloth that I have. And all of these colors work together. It even has, it has purple. You know, let's say you're not doing a room. Let's say you wanna do your whole house. Use the fabric. You could do, you know, one house, especially if, or excuse me, one room. Especially if you choose a neutral color background, say, I don't know, pick out a, a tan or a gray. Gray, gray's, gray's here for a while. Gray's gonna stay. Um, I have one friend, she did extra white. I know I'm all over the place with this one, sorry. She did extra white in her house and then everything else is black and red and warm woods. And it works, it's, it's stunning. It's really, really pretty. She has statement pieces and it, it's just awesome. But what if you don't want every single wall the same color? Well, you could easily pick out a piece of fabric. I don't have a good example here, but you know what? Use this in one room. Use this in another room. Use this in, you know, you have options. Fabric will give you a plan for your whole house and a simple way to know it goes together. But you can't do that without your color deck. I'm telling you, if you haven't gotten one, get a color deck. I don't take it with me. I just find the color, I isolate the color, and then I go to the store and I get the color cards. And then that's what I take with me. I take the color card, I put it all, I don't see my, I had a, I, this is like my, 40th take of this today. You should see my outtakes. They're funny. I should make a compilation video. So you've collected all of your 
samples. You've collected your fabric, you've collected your paint chips, you've collected your flooring, even you could even take the picture with you. If you can't remember what you're looking for, write it in a list, put the picture, put it in here, take this to the store, go shopping with it. Put it on top of that pillow or that sofa or whatever you're looking to buy and go with it. You know, it, it's gonna, if it, if it matches the fabric, if it matches the colors, it's gonna work in your home. It's really, it's, it's cheating. It's using the creativity of others to make your home yours. Not, not a designer's, not, no. If you wanna copy that look, if you want the look, go for it. But this to me is how I can come up with something that I can live with. Anyway, hope this helps. Hope it hasn't confused you completely. And I think the next one I'm gonna tackle is probably when you find the paint color, how to know that it'll work, like lighting. You know, right now it's it's rainy and gray, and so it's making my wall look darker here. Um, but just, I wanna cover how lighting affects the paint you choose. So look for that one next, and I hope you have a great day. Thanks as always. See you next time.